హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ మెరీ క్రిస్మస్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆల్ ఎంటర్డ్ ఇన్ టు ఎ క్రిస్మస్ సీజన్ అండ్ జీజస్ ఈజ్ ద రీజన్ ఫర్ దిస్ సీజన్ we are celebrating the birth of jesus christ during this season isn't it what is christmas after all today i am going to talk about three things about christmas one the meaning of christmas and secondly the man of christmas and thirdly the message of christmas so let's come back to the meaning of christmas first of all when we are talking about the meaning of christmas many people pronounce it as christmas that's not right it's there are two words in the word christmas christ and mass that means mass means worship it is the worship of christ christmas is nothing but worship of christ and that's why we see when the wise men came to herod they said we have seen a star in the sky and we have come to worship him they said and they did worship him even when shepherds went there they worshiped him so christmas is all about worshiping christ if we are not doing that and anything else there is no meaning for christmas at all so there should be a true worship of the lord jesus christ during the christmas time this is what the first thing that we need to remember so who is the man that we are talking during this christmas time this man is none other than jesus when the angel of the lord came to mary he said you will give a birth to a child and you will name him jesus in greek the word jesus means savior so christmas is nothing but worshiping a savior we are thinking about talking about a savior who was born for us long ago who came to die in our, on behalf of our sins he brought salvation to all the mankind that's why the angel of the lord told to mary because he will save people from their sins he will be called jesus that's why he is called a savior a savior who has come into this world to save people from their sins my dear friends my dear brothers and sisters if you are struggling with some kind of a sinful habit and you are not able to come out of that here is a good news for you jesus is born as a savior to all of us he is ready to save us from our sinful nature save us from our sinful wretched condition and we need to seek him we need to come into his presence and ask his help ask him to redeem us ask him to forgive us and he will be happy to forgive and give this salvation to all of us so who is this man we are talking first of all he is none other than a savior and secondly when the angels came and was uh, proclaiming the news about the birth of jesus christ to the shepherds in the luke's gospel this is what they said here is a good news for you they said a savior is born who is christ the lord they said who is christ the lord there are two things they have mentioned he is not only a savior but also a christ so who is the man of christmas he is christ christ means who the meaning of christ means the anointed one the anointed one If you look at the Bible there are three kinds of people who are anointed first one is the kings are anointed the second group of people that are anointed are the prophets and the third group of people that are anointed are the priest so when we say Jesus Christ Jesus means savior Christ means the anointed so if we are talking about the anointed one So when we say Jesus is the anointed one it means that he is the king of kings and he is the prophet and he is the high priest for all of us so those are the three different offices which Jesus is holding when he came when he is on this earth as a prophet as a priest and even now he is the king of kings and ruling this earth today what a wonderful thing it is so who is this man of christmas he is a savior he is the king of kings he is the prophet and also he is the priest and who else is he 
and if you look at the bible again there is another very important thing that is mentioned about him the angel said to the shepherds he is not only christ but he is the lord he is the lord what does the lord means lord means a person who has authority over our lives the one who is going to rule us the one who is going to control our lives one who is going to reign our lives that's what it means so jesus christ has come into this world earth as a lord to be the lord of our lives that means he wants to rule our lives he wants to take authority over our lives and if we surrender our lives to him he will be he will take control of our lives and he will guide us he will rule us he will reign our lives so that our lives can be a blessed ones my dear friends so this is what we need to remember when we think about jesus christ he is not only a savior but he is a king of kings he is the prophet he is a priest and also he wants to be the lord of our lives so the question here this uh, this day is have you accepted jesus as your personal savior or not are you washed in the blood of jesus christ or not have you received him into your heart or not is a first question if you have received him if you have washed in your blood in his blood and the second question that i need to ask you is is jesus christ the lord of your life or not is he ruling your life or somebody else is ruling your life have you surrendered totally your life to him or to somebody else that's the question we need to ask if you want to see this christmas has a real meaning for your life accept him as your savior as your savior and accept him as your lord and that will really bring a meaning and a blessing to your personal life and thirdly what is the message of christmas we have seen the meaning of christmas we have seen the man of christmas and thirdly we are going to see the message of christmas what is the message of christmas after all there are three things we know from the bible the message there are three messages given when jesus was born on this earth if you look at the luke's gospel chapter 2 verse 10 that's what that's where the angels came and declaring the message of the birth of jesus christ to the shepherds and there they gave a very beautiful statement if you look at the 10th verse the 10th verse says like this then the angel said to them do not be afraid for behold i bring you good tidings of great joy <laughs> good tidings of great joy what is the message of christmas it is a message of joy when christ comes into your life he gives you abundant joy he gives you eternal joy a joy that world cannot give a joy that you can never experience through the things that you possess in this world and that is a, a very specific a unique joy that jesus wants to give you it does not come by the surroundings it comes from within you are not shaken by the surroundings and your joy is not dependent on what you have or what you do not have it all depends upon what you what you really have what you really have you really accepted jesus christ or not if you possess jesus christ in your heart in your life you will have an abundant joy and today the good news is for you the lord wants to give you eternal joy whoever you are whatever state you are in today and the lord wants to give you this joy if you are struggling to re really receive this joy in your life accept jesus christ in your heart he will give you a great joy for you what is the second message the second message is beautiful message here again luke's gospel chapter 2 verse 14 says this glory to god in the highest and peace on earth the angel said because jesus has come to this earth there is a peace on earth he came as a prince of peace i know there are so many people today struggling to experience this peace there is no peace in the families there is no peace in the personal life there is no peace in the children among even in the life of the children and people are struggling to experience this peace people are down with sorrow sadness and people are uh, about to commit suicides because they are fed up with their lives there is no joy and peace in their lives 
But Jesus said, I have come to give you peace that passeth all understanding. Because Jesus was born as a prince of peace. That's what we see in the Bible. So there is a great peace on earth. If you receive Jesus Christ, the good message is that he is going to give you eternal peace. Peace that nobody can remove from your life. And nobody can give you that peace. And Jesus wants to give you that peace in your life. Will you receive him and experience this peace is a question. And thirdly, what is the message of Christmas? If you look at John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 16, it says, God sent his son, only begotten son. Why? Whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Why did Jesus, why did Jesus is given to us? Why is Jesus given to us? To give us eternal life. Anyone who puts faith in the Lord Jesus Christ will have eternal life. That's what the Bible says. In John's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 24 says, If you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will have eternal life. And Jesus came to give us that eternal life, my dear friends. If you trust him, if you surrender your life, and even after you die here, you are going to have eternal life with the Lord Jesus Christ. Eternal life in heaven with the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the greatest blessing any human can have. And that's what the Lord Jesus Christ wants to give to each one of us. Are you willing to take this life from him? What is this eternal life after all? It is not only just a long life with the Lord Jesus Christ after death. I want to tell you something. Even you can enjoy eternal life here on earth. A life that can make an impact on others. A life that is useful to God. A life that can bring souls to Christ. A life of a blessing to others. And that's called eternal life. That's what the Lord wants to give all of us. So there is a meaning of Christmas. The man of Christmas we have seen. And we also have seen the message of Christmas. Friends, I want to leave this to you now. What is your decision about Jesus Christ today? Would you like to accept him as your Savior and Lord? And enjoy the wonderful life that God wants to give you today. And the eternal life that God wants to give you today. Please do that. God bless you. Have a blessed Christmas. Thank you.